वेलकम टू द लेटेस्ट वर्क ऑफ मेंटल मॉडल सीरीज फ्रॉम सफल निवेशक हैव यू हर्ड द स्टोरी ऑफ चाइनीज बैम्बू ट्री वेन यू प्लान द बैम्बू सीड्स फॉर द फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स नथिंग कम्स आउट फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड बट इन द सिक्स ईयर वन फाइन डे tiny bamboo sprout breaks through the ground and within next 6 weeks that sapling grows to a dizzying height of 90 feet that's a strange behavior for a tree and it raises some interesting questions first was there really nothing happening at all in those first 5 years second how did the bamboo tree grow so fast in the 6th year the answer to all these question lies in an idea called critical mass it's a concept from the field of physics So for a system critical point is that point that limit at which the behavior of the system changes dramatically when critical mass is reached that system may suddenly start working much better or it may start working much worse or it may stop working altogether this reminds me of the saying you know it's the last straw that breaks the camel's back until the last straw arrives small additions of load on the camel does not have any visible effect the last straw is that limit where it's heavy enough for the poor camel to succumb under the load malcolm gladwell in his book tipping point has refined this idea of critical mass further he talks about how epidemics spread how social trends become viral or how certain ideas spread rapidly after a critical mass is achieved so for example japanese electronics company sharp came out with the first ever low priced fax machine in 1984 in the first year they sold about 80000 of those devices for the next 3 years their business grew slowly but in 1987 something remarkable happened the fax machine sales went through the roof and sharp sold 1 million pieces by 1989 2 million new machines had gone into operation 1987 was the tipping point in the fax machine business. After 3 years of steady sales, enough people had faxes that it made sense for everyone else to get fax machine. Now coming back to bamboo tree, although nothing was happening above the ground for the first 5 years, the tree was steadily growing its root underground. And the moment a critical mass was achieved in in terms of amount of roots required for external growth, bamboo sapling broke free and grew with a non-linear speed another great example of critical mass is the traffic in the city on any given day if you increase the traffic by twice our commute time may also increase by a factor of 2 but if you keep increasing the traffic at a certain point addition of just a few more car chokes the road completely and the vehicle movement comes to a grinding halt The number of cars on the road at that inflection point can be called as the critical mass for the commute system. All right, so when it comes to business and investing, what can we learn from this mental model of critical mass? Economies of scale, that's an important source of competitive advantage for a business. When a company becomes big, there comes a point at which its expenses can be spread out over large volume of its products such that the average cost becomes so low that a significant portion of revenue starts going directly to the bottom line. At this stage, profits suddenly shoot up. That's critical mass at work in businesses that benefit from economies of scale. If you found this video useful, you may want to subscribe to Safal Niveshak's newsletter. Safal Niveshak Value investing made simple.